Alrighty guys and welcome back in a good another treat for you today. We're not going to be using Adams but we are going to be spawning in as Ghostface on a pretty fun map. Now do keep in mind Ghostface is one of the stronger killers when you know how he works but he can also be countered by really good survivors. Now straight away I want to absorb information. I can see there's somebody by the shack so I'm going to... Oh we got somebody over to the right too coming over towards me. I don't want to be here and doing what I'm doing now but we're going to come back in. I think there's two players over here. I'm going to try and get a little bit stealthy here. I can see you sitting right there bud. I don't think you see me and I can't lean off anything. This is good. This is really good. I don't think he knows where I am. I might try and get a bit of a lean hit on him. I set the crows off, which is bad. I didn't mean to activate that, but if I can get the god pallet out of him early, that's going to be really good. Somehow he broke me out of it when I was even behind a wall. Let's walk through for him. He played window as well. Good. Tried a window tech, didn't work. We could hear him moving in the bush underneath us. So we're just going to pick him up. We know we're near us. She went to the generator on the right hand side. So the best thing I can do is hook him here. That's discordance. I need to either go for Nia or go for two players. I need to make a decision between generators. I'm going to leave Nia and I'm going to come for these two. Hopefully be able to apply Pop Goes the Weasel and Sloppy Butcher on one of these guys at least. I just... I'll take that and we'll take our Pop. We'll sidestep. We'll take a hit on her too. If she doesn't have sprint burst, she doesn't. That's good. That was a really bad play by both of them. See that scratch right there? That tells me Nia didn't go to the generator. Nia taking a vault on a window. We're going to do this. Hi, cutie. Going to get a grab off on Nia. That's going to hurt him a lot. We're going to hook him in the basement. We're going to come back up and hit our generator with another Pop Goes the Weasel. we got time to get him on the back hook. That was good sloppy butcher pressure by Ghostface. Unfortunately, the survivors were really out of luck there. I ate no pallets. I went through no jungle gyms. One of those really crisp starts towards the killer game. Coming over here, you can see somebody came back in and tapped it. Did they greed? Did they stay on it? No, they did not. We're going to get another hit here. I'm going to get regression in the middle of the map. And then I'm going to play around the center for a second while they stack and group heal. All right, let's do this. Everybody's group healing, so I got a gut feeling somebody will be coming in real soon. Let's check on this bad boy again. That's good. What do we got over here? I don't see anything. Let's check our gen on the right and then go through. I see an ace. I see somebody else on the left-hand side. Oh, I'm going to come in and try and get that pallet for free, mate. I love how I got broken out of it in third person. Really bad play by Nia. Pallet down. Coming over here to the basement. He will be able to make this save in time before I can do anything about it. However, I might be able to get a nice hit in his back. I kind of waited for the grab, but unfortunately the grab was unable to happen. Now, if she stops running, I know she's got BT on her. Looks like that is not what happened. We're going to be looking for a good dead hard play here, Mr. Ace. I'm going to punish Ace and down him. She's going through the map. There's two players over there. I don't need to worry about behind. He should have taken a hit. We've got the Scordance activating down here. What are we going to do? We're going to hook down here. It's going to take two hits to save this guy. And if two people take a hit, one's going into dying state. All right. They're both rotating elsewhere. They're not really making really good decisions right now. I'm going to break the pallet. I'm going to then go through the middle of the map. And I'm going to try and find that other guy. I'm not worried about the gens on the corners of the map. It's not going to be too important for me to try and hold on to. Like that one over there. That one over there. That one over there. I'm going to go for Nia. Because I feel she's out of position. And she's going to have to give me something good. Nice and early. She won't be able to make the fast fault to the pallet. And the window is sealed. We'll take that down. I'm going to instantly turn around. And apply pressure on whoever went to this gen. There you go. All the way back here. And we know where the other player is too. We'll sidestep. We'll twist. We'll activate our ability. Did she go left? No, she didn't. That's good movement by her. We're going to come in. We're going to get a bit of a lean on her as well. Bad play. Going to get that preparation ready to go. Make sure she doesn't get it on us. I'm guessing we have a... I'm guessing we got a, uh, a group over here with DS, possibly. I'm going to come in for the one hit. Gonna try and down him, not gonna try anything else. Don't want him to... He did that really well, now he's gonna hit me with DS. I was trying to lunge hit him, but I vacuumed into him, so I got punished with the DS. That's unfortunate play by me. Is he gonna camp the pallet? Yes, we're gonna break the pallet. We're gonna listen for him crying. I'm gonna move back into the left. He went back into the right, the scratch is too far back. Yep, not gonna work, Ace. Unfortunately, he already DS'd me. I wanted to down him, but I know he doesn't have dead hearts, so now he's in trouble. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna hook him and kill him. Little bit of a tunnel off hook, not what I really wanted to happen that game. I wanted to slug him and then move through the map, but unfortunately, he decided because he had one minute of immortality provided through DS, that he'd be able to work on an objective, and I punished his DS by doing that. What do we instantly know? They're all stacking and group healing, yeah? I'm going to run in because they're going to expect me to come in anyways. And that's going to make them think I have barbecue scratches out there. Nice. Activate that. Where did you go? You're full health too. Alright. I want to get a bit of stalk on her. 
kept running. Remember, 2.5 seconds of leaning, and now I can instant down. I didn't mean to pop it so early. Let's see how she moves here. Bad play, and she gets punished for it. Went right through the pallet. She needed to play back to the window she was on. Double people stacking on generators again through Discordance. Showing you the sheer power and value behind this simple perk, Discordance. Goes hand in hand with Pop as well. As you can see, I'm going really effectively with my movement. This survivor's biggest mistake is stacking on gens. I saw that. I'll pretend I didn't. We'll sidestep. Take a hit on her back. Good. We got one person who's Maya. She go around. She didn't. We'll get the kick on this. Coming in for the save. We'll instantly do a 180. See if we can take pressure on both of them. I'll take a pallet instead. She can take a medium on the window from this angle. Negative. I'm going to sidestep, hide my light, twist at the last second to confuse her, see if she hesitates, which is exactly what happened. The other girl's going to run to the middle of the map and work on her gem, so I'm going to try and get a hit on her back. No, she didn't come back in for it. This one, look, crows respawn every 15 seconds. Really good play. She somehow managed to school me something fierce. So I'm going to take advantage of my mistake and rotate elsewhere. That was a phenomenally good play by her and she mind gave me. Why did she get away with that? Because she had a perk called Iron Will. Otherwise that would not have worked. That's going to be Discord and stacking on another generator. Therefore, not going to be able to make it across in time. It's my first Jenny to lose. Somebody was on it the entire time. I have a good gut feeling they're going to group, stack and heal. I see a scratch originally on a tree here, which will be fading. One heal, scratch on my right hand side, fading as well, going back around behind the shack. I don't think it was the same player, there was two people here. I managed to lose them, I need to make a decision, I see you coming back in, Discordance. They evaded me really well, but Discordance allows me to catch up. As long as I don't get snapped out of it right now, I could play really good here. Both injured as well. Who's gonna medium the window and take a hit in the back? <laughs> Saw it was coming, that somebody was getting sandbagged there. I'ma slug him, and I'ma go for the other one. I got pressure on one target. That gives the other guy who's doing gens now something to do in terms of helping his allies. Not looking over her shoulder. Gonna hurt her if she doesn't be careful here. She does have a pallet. Doesn't look like she's gonna utilize it. This pallet is mind gameable in the middle of the map on the right hand side as well, and she has a medium vault to her left. She's playing pallet. Bad play. Oh, very lucky for her. Very, very lucky. Jenny's nearly done, so we know where the other guy originally was. Let's see if I can get her to run into my loving embrace. We'll moonwalk a little bit. There you go. That should be game for her, and she shouldn't be able to make it. Nice little simple hit in the back. I reckon the other guy came out through where I'm nodding around the back and is cutting through. And I should catch him right here. Unfortunately, I'd be incorrect. He managed it. There you go. Scratches over here to the right. He's already made it to the other dude. I'm going to get Pop Goes Weasel Regression and a hook. I think that's a better value. I also have a choice of playing her in the basement if I want to play around the proxy. No other gen is nearly done. So I will put her in the back hook in the basement knowing that they're going to group, they're going to stack, they're going to heal, and I'm going to get a 20 second regression off a generator to the left hand side behind me. Now, unfortunately, these survivors aren't really playing as well as a team. They're grouping on gens rather than split pressuring, and I'm punishing them greatly with a perk called Discordance. I'm also getting split pressure through Sloppy Butcher. Forcing them to heal for it. I'm not even going to activate my ability because I have a good gut feeling that somebody is going to be nearby and around. I'm going to check on this bad boy right here. See if I see anything. I think I may have heard something then. Nothing. Alright, we're going to do that and that. Now I need to think, how is my late game strat? My late game strat is actually really good if I let some of the corner gens go. I'm going to check on that. I don't want to check on this, but I'm going to check on the gen in the middle of the map. Somebody's already down in the basement. They're going to beat me, so I'm going to sit here. I'm going to do this. 2.5 seconds, remember. 2.5 seconds of leaning, and I could punish her for it. And I'm going to get a free pallet out of the other guy. In fact, I might even go for the snowball win. I'll take the free pallet. She'll take the vault on the window. And she's forced me in the direction of where the other player is as well. It's a really good time for me to come back to the hook. Now, will she play window or will she play spacing? No, she made a bad play. I don't want to tunnel her off hook. I feel really bad downing her here. Didn't make a good decision making then. We know somebody was originally down here and to the right. Don't see any scratch. I do see a girl in a corner. And the other girl will have Unbreakable, the one that are down near the basement. We're going to hook this one. That way the other one doesn't feel tunneled. The other girl's going to tap her generator in the middle of the map. So I know where I need to go with Pop Goes the Weasel right now. After I get a hook here. And I got two people funneled to the same spot. And Unbreakable is no longer an issue that I have to worry about for the mid to the late game. Alright, activate our ability nice and early when we block our line of sight. Let's see if we can see any form of indicator of where this uh, survivor is. She's in between the pallet, which is good. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go right past her. I don't want her to feel like she was tunneled to foot. No crow bothered on the right-hand side. No scratch in the middle of the map. Ooh, a scratch behind me just there. That's good. Took the hit on the one that I wanted to get, which is important. That's good. 
And let's come over here. What do we got going on? We can see she's near the hill. Doesn't know what's happening. A little confused. Unfortunately, that is just one of the games where a survivor is in the lower ranks that might need a little bit more time before they understand fully how to move. Wasn't looking over her shoulder. Ran in the open. Thought she had time to get balanced landing. Unfortunately, didn't have time. I picked up the one that won't have Unbreakable because she was on the ground forever. The other one has already used Unbreakable, therefore I don't have any real worries to do. I have four gems left as a ghost face. Now, it isn't a rank one game, it is a rank four game because rank reset did happen. So you might see somebody here who is in a little bit of the higher ranks. But this should teach you guys, if you are struggling in the higher ranks, understanding movement throughout the board, when to let go of certain generators, or when to apply pressure in different situations. You know the rules. If I can hear the hatch when I'm taking them to the hook at the end of the game, I'm more than happy to give them the hatch. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you're watching this one over at YouTube, make sure you slap that subscribe button. I do educational survivor and killer content all the time. Most of the time, it's at rank 1. Unfortunately, like I said, rank reset, it is a rank 5 game. So we might have a couple of new gamers in there. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the fog in the next video. Thank you for watching.